It's time now to check out the world weather with Mai Shoji. Mai, you've been keeping track on the tropical storm over the Gulf of Tonkin. Give us the updates. Well, yes, Miki, we have been tracking this for quite some time because it's moving at a snail's pace. It has made landfall over the island of Hainan at, uh, late last night, and it is now over the Gulf of Tonkin. It's likely to become a tropical depression before making landfall on the border of Vietnam and China, but it's still moving quite slowly, so the impact of this will be mainly the rain accumulation, which could cause the uh, flooding and landslides. Uh, the, uh, parts of Vietnam actually already has a risk uh, in place for flooding, flash flooding, as well as mudslides and landslides, especially for those people that live in the mountainous areas. It's also aggravating the rainy season ban that's pulling across over the central China area, and that's actually has dropped about 450 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours. On top of that, 120 to 150 millimeters will be likely. You can see it over the southwest islands of Japan so this is another area where thunderstorm advisories will be widely in place and southern Kyushu will still have those effects of 50 millimeters in an hour type of sudden burst of showers and that could also occur in the rest of Japan even though the rainy season ban is not affecting the area at all we'll probably see the great instability of the atmosphere again today which means that thunderstorms could be erupting anywhere across these areas we see a patch of red um, heavy rainfall across this location even in Kanto region, so that could happen about 6 p.m. tonight. Now, but we're likely to see clear skies on uh, clear or actually overcast on Thursdays, uh, Thursday, but Friday and Saturday, another round of some rainfall, not looking good for the weekend. Not going to go the same with you, where the flooding has occurred and about 6,500 people have been evacuated last night. Kagoshima, all throughout your four days, it's going to be rainy, and Naha will still see the uh, potential for heat stroke. Now let's get you over here in Europe. Central locations again is seeing some stormy conditions due to this system. It's a cold front sagging all the way into northern Italy. So we're likely to see another round of severe weather here and that includes hail storms and also gusty conditions. Gusts could reach up to about 90 kilometers per hour in southern Germany and that's tracking all the way down to the northern Balkans. Let's take a look at your temperatures. Ankara 28 degrees with rain in forecast and a lot of rain across parts of central areas. Now here across the Americas we we are still tracking this storm system up in the upper Midwest, pulling into the Great Lakes region. We do have that active system, and that's actually creating the enhanced uh, level of a severe weather outlook across north of New York. And that's not something you'll be looking forward to. But some people are actually looking forward to a very unique site that will be taking place across these locations up in the north. This is a view from the SLI view from the poll, people actually could see a magnificent sight of auroras that will be taking place. It has been, the, the sun has been ramping its activity over the past few days and setting a stage for stunning aurora shows. Now, not only these spacecrafts and satellites may experience some glitches, this makes major changes in the currents of Earth's magnetosphere. So many people in Alaska are actually having trouble with their cell phones today. But if you are lucky and in the living in this latitude, you're likely to see a magnificent sight. And it's really rare that it comes further down into Vancouver, New York, and even Edinburgh. I'll leave you now for a Senate forecast. That's New Sign for this hour. I'm Miki Yamamoto in Tokyo. Thanks for joining us.
strong typhoon Nuri is uh, on a decreasing uh, trend uh, as we speak, but no matter the intensity, it is actually packing gusts of about 96 kilometers per hour recorded in Chichijima. It's now located west of Chichijima and will be passing over the Ogasawara Islands today. By the afternoon hours, it is likely to become a, a strong, uh, severe, I should say, severe tropical storm status and then become a low pressure system by this evening. But uh, the gusts will be about 126 kilometers per hour over the Ogasawara Islands and Izo Islands will see 108 kilometers per hour winds. And also the waves are going to be still very high, nine meters in the center of the system and all the way out towards Izo Islands, about four to five meters. The Pacific side of Honshu would possibly see about three to four meters high waves. So these are the areas where you really don't want to be venturing out in the water. It's also pushing the stationary boundary. So we're likely to see a little bit of that uh, wet weather across the southern Kanto region. And then by tomorrow, a low pressure system will be bringing very wet weather across Hokkaido. So it's going to be possibly a wet on and off event across Japan. Meanwhile, in the Indochina Peninsula, we're seeing torrents of rainfall. Already uh, starting this year, uh, the level of the, the rainfall has exceeded the yearly average in and around Myanmar, especially in and around Dawei. On top of the rainfall that uh, we have already been seeing due to the low pressure system, it's likely to provide more wet weather, about 120 millimeters on top of what we already have been seeing. Bangkok at 32 degrees is what uh, we're looking at the uh, forecast with chances of thunderstorms. Manila, same thing. And out towards the north, Ulaanbaatar is only looking at 4 degrees, a single digit for the high on Thursday. Now look here across the U.S. The ex-hurricane, if you can recall, Vance had traveled over Mexico. Now it is affecting Texas, especially with the very heavy rain. Ample amounts of moisture are pulling into this area. We have a report of 83 millimeters in San Antonio. And on top of that, with the severe flooding that has been occurring already in some locations in and around Houston, you'll possibly see about 100 millimeters of additional rainfall. And that's likely to continue into the next few days. The rain will also be traveling across the New England state and due to the cold front that will be swinging across this area, the temperatures will be dropping dramatically. New York just looking at 9 degrees on your Saturday and then a huge drop here from in Washington, D.C. from 18 degrees on Thursday down to just 10 on Saturday. So that's below your average to carry your warmest jackets. Now here across Europe, severe flooding is coursing through Italy and that's likely to be added with additional rainfall. This is of that moisture from the south and this system is quite a potent one. It has a history of producing two tornado touchdowns across southern Italy. Less chance of tornadoes but strong gusts and really heavy precipitation will be continuing to pound much of Italy and then down towards southern Balkans and the snowfall will not be helping due to the higher risk for landslides. The heavy bulk of it will be in Austria with up to about 200 millimeters of additional rainfall. Vienna with rain at 10 degrees but take a look at eastern locations of Europe and this is going to last into your Saturday so do enjoy the warmth. I'll leave you now for extended forecast. With the calendar marking March people are expecting things to warm up and People are expecting flowers to bloom, uh, but no, we're actually seeing some winter weather gripping parts of the United States. In fact, a lot of the locations are still seeing some snowfall. You can see the stationary boundary and the gradients really close to each other. Well, severe weather is happening even in Texas and in Mississippi and Louisiana down towards western Virginia. We're actually along that front uh, possibly going to be seeing some winter precipitation down towards uh, Texas. Even central areas could see some freezing rain and some mixed precipitation. West Virginia, about 30 centimeters of snowfall. So that's going to be the heavy bulk of that snowfall. And even big cities such as New York and Washington, D.C., possibly up to about 20 centimeters. So that's definitely going to be hindering the traffic and the commuters, especially in the morning hours. The rain on Thursday will then change its form to uh, snow on your, uh, excuse me, uh, rain on Wednesday will turn its form to snow on Thursday. So that's what we're looking at right now. And the temperatures, people are expecting it to warm up, but no, temperatures are actually going to be falling into double digits in, on the negative area. Minus 12 for the morning lows in Boston and New York reaching minus 10 degrees as well. So really frigid temperatures will be 
ripping you again. And Houston looking at just four degrees for the high. I know a lot of people don't actually own stoves and heaters in your home, so do bundle up, especially overnight on your Thursday hours. But to the other side of the jet stream, we're looking at 24 degrees, summer-like temperatures out there. Now across Europe, we have a clash of air masses with the uh, low pressure system that is still lingering here, bringing unstable conditions. We may even some, see some tornadic activities as well as very heavy rainfall, which could lead to flooding and even some hail as well. But the rest of the area looking quite fine, especially the west. Paris at 11 degrees with plenty of sunshine and Madrid looking at 13 degrees. Across here in Asia, uh, a high pressure system is predominant across the western areas. And that's that's actually providing some uh, favorable conditions for radiational cooling, especially in the morning hours. Minus 30 degrees was observed in parts of northeast China, but to the south, moisture is brought in from that ridge of high pressure system and the northern edge of it bringing some snowfall. Here across Japan, another round of blizzard conditions, but that's finally going to be tapering off by Thursday afternoon, but the additional snowfall amounts could top as much as 25 centimeters and the waves will be very high, so not a day to be venturing out in the waters. Tokyo at 14 degrees, but that's actually going to be on a falling trend. Uh, excuse me, five degrees here on Saturday, and then again another jumpy ride. Uh, as for those of you who are going to be coming to Japan to enjoy the cherry blossom, this is going to be your forecast schedule. I'll leave you now for extended forecast. Okay, let's go to our weather corner, and here is my Shoji with the latest of the east coast of the United States. One storms after another, these areas have been hit with heavy snowfall. Significant amounts of snowfall has been fallen due to the latest winter storm. We have some pictures coming up from these areas because traveling has been hindered. Take a look at that. In Kentucky, hundreds of vehicles were backed up for hours, some overnight, due to impassable roadways. While well, the governor of Kentucky declared a state of emergency. Even into Texas, the same storm brought slick travel, causing traffic accidents on the highways. We have numerous traffic accidents reported across these areas. Well, that's due to this system that's responsible for that dumping heavy snowfall. Finally, that's pulling out. Great news. But back behind that high pressure system will be predominant, making it for very cool temperatures. We'll still add up about a three centimeters of snowfall across New York and parts of these areas could possibly see about 10 centimeters. But by Friday, things are going to be looking up. However, D.C., you may see the wind chill factors down to about minus 15 degrees, your actual temperatures as low as minus 5 degrees for your Friday morning, so do bundle up. We have another system pulling in to the Great Lakes. We'll see another round of snowfall, but not as heavy as before, and that's likely to pull into uh, the, these uh, New York, Boston, big cities in the New England states by Sunday, but not as big as significant as what we have been seeing and the temperatures will finally be on a warming trend in the great lakes region talking about warm-up trends well things are really warm across western areas especially in california where temperatures are in the summer range 27 degrees in los angeles with plenty of sunshine now across here in europe we have been talking about the severe weather system that has been bringing category 5 hurricane equivalent force winds up to about three 300 kilometers have been uh, reported unofficially, but official reports are saying more than 200 kilometers per hour, and these have uprooted trees in central Italy. And we actually have two casualties reported from these areas. This system will intensify on your Saturday and then pull into Turkey and Greece with chances of tornadoes. Once again, wind gusts reaching about 140 kilometers per hour in some locations. Snowfall will be up to about 30 centimeters into Friday and Saturday, and then and that is likely to pull into Turkey over your weekend, still lingering here with chances of excessive precipitation yet again. Looking quite windy up in northern locations of the British Isles, but London's escaping from that windy weather at 11 degrees with partly sunny skies. Now here across eastern continental Asia, we're seeing a high pressure system over Japan and that's likely to create a low pressure system just below the Pacific side of Kanto region. And this is going to be favorable for on and off showers to continue on our Saturday. But by Sunday, things should be clearing out until another system pulls in. So Tokyo showers and a chilly day for us, but a bump here on Sunday and it's going to be clearing out, which is very good news. Chiba Prefecture, we're 
seeing some showers, but to brighten up your spirits, here's some bright yellows to show you. A sign of spring right there. 3.5 million rapeseed flowers are blossoming in Mother Farm in Chiba Prefecture. They started blooming from end of December and now they are in full bloom. Visitors are enjoying the bright yellow sign of spring. On that note, here's our extended forecast.